This little one's name is Poppy. And Poppy is a Welsh Corgi. And she is about nine years old. She is already spayed. You know that? Yeah, good babies. She's a little on the shy side when you come up to her. But she does warm up pretty good. As you can tell, she's very treat motivated. She's another one that could use a little less loving with the treats, more loving with the pets because she does need to lose a little bit of weight. Yeah, corgis are very nice family pets. She's got really sweet temperaments and she seems to have a really nice one. Can you sit? Do you know sit? Do you know sit? No? All right. And uh, Poppy here is already spayed. So she is ready to go to her new home. There you go. Yeah. You're a cute little girl, aren't you? Yeah. Good job. Show everybody how sweet you are, huh? You look right there. Good babies. You follow that treat, don't you? It's a little bit left. There you go. So this little youngster's name's Anthony. He's about seven months old. He's an Antonian Shepherd mix. So being seven months old, he is definitely still growing. Still going through the puppy stages. So he will need some puppy classes. Yeah, which is good for the dog and good for the people too. Well, you're all on the same page, huh? Do you know how to shake? Do you know how to shake? No? Do you know down? Do you know down? Do you know down? Good boy. So we've been working a little bit while he's here. He seems to be a very smart boy. Yeah. And we want him in a home with kids over six years old. Don't necessarily want him knocking over a toddler, so find it on the safe side, even though he's a gentle boy. He gets a little rambunctious being a puppy. Yeah, do you want a belly rub, don't you? Oh, yes, you're such a ham, aren't you? Yeah. You're the good boy. Look at that face. Yeah. What a good boy. So he's pretty calm right now, but just remember, he is a puppy. So be prepared, do some puppy research, and an Antolian Shepherd. Yeah learn a little bit of what they're all about. All right, you ready to go in, huh, Anthony? Yeah, you're handsome. This is Megan, and Megan will be the dog of the week this week. This is Megan. Megan is a German short-haired pointer. And she came to us as a stray. And as you can tell by her gray little face that she is an older girl. She is about 15 years old. Yeah. There you go, babies. What are good girls. Yeah. So she needs that forever home, don't ya? Yeah. Probably dog selective. She probably don't want a real active up in the house you know she's an old girl she needs to be able to relax and not be bothered don't know about cats so megan here probably wants some a household with some older kids don't want no little youngsters pulling on her ears or on her little stubby tail huh good girls can you sit yes there that way everybody can get a good look at you so I'd say children probably above 13 would probably be ideal. A little calmer in the house or an older dog. But she's a very sweet girl. Yeah. We do have her on a little bit of a diet. Gonna take a little off your waist, huh? So we know there's a lot of people out there that like the older dogs, a little bit calmer. Just wanna hang out with you. Enjoy your company. Kind of do their own thing. What a good girl. Alright, 
right, so this little one is about 10 months old. His name is Scotty. And Scotty already has a new home lined up. Um, we're going to neuter him tomorrow. He is a pup, but he does have some major eye issues. He can see a little bit of shadows, but that's about it. As you can see as he searches for that tree. Scotty! So the new owner has definitely got to do a little bit different training with him. Him not being able to see any cues when you're training. It's going to be verbal. Yeah. There you go, babies. Good boy. So he is going to a new home. So hooray for Scotty. This is Rogue. Rogue, she is about seven years old. And she's a typical husky, Siberian husky. She likes to talk. What, do you want a treat? Will you eat a treat for me? She's been kind of finicky on her food. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Are you hiding? She is a beautiful girl, but uh, like a lot of huskies, she's a little more on the independent side. Yeah. Um, previous owner said she can escape pretty easily over a fence. Uh, they have a real high fence. I think it's around four to five foot tall, but she's able to get out pretty easy. So that's why the owner shredded her. Hi, hey, sweeties. But she's having a little bit of a hard time in here. It's a little hard for her being in a small kennel, so she's kind of having a withdraw from eating for us. So we're trying everything possible. Um, we want a, a household with no cats, uh, no children. She's a dog selective. Um, no livestock. She has had uh, chicken for dinner, we'll say. So no livestock. Um, and we do prefer breed experience. A typical husky is not for every household. They're a little bit different. They are very sweet, but they're not for everybody. I know. What do you got to say, huh? You tell them. <laughs> and obviously with that voice, no apartment living. So that would wake up the neighbors. <laughs> All right, this girl's name is Kara. She is a German Shepherd mix. Hey, baby girls. And she is about five years old. There you go. Good girls. She's a little on the shy side when you come up. She's not quite on the adoptable floor yet. Um, she did come in as a stray. And she just became ours, so we still need to do a little bit of assessments on her before she comes up for adoption. So if you know anybody that's missing a beautiful girl like this, please let us know. Oh, good girls. Yeah. You like your treats, don't you? This little girl's name is Maggie. Maggie is a Chihuahua short hair mix, and she is about 10 years old. Hey, baby girls. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the good girls. You don't want that? Did you spit it out? Yeah. She's a little on the shy side when you approach her for strangers, but it didn't take her long to, when I first met her. She was up in my lap within about, probably less than five minutes. So she definitely is a lap dog. Yeah, did you want that one? That was better, huh? Yeah. And she is currently not on the adoptable floor. I still need to finish assessments with her. Yeah. Her previous owners had medical issues and couldn't keep her. Yeah. Poor babies, huh? So, when she does roll up, she'll need a nice quiet home, a nice retirement home. Probably no young kids, because she gets scared a little easy. But if you want a little couch buddy, she would be perfect. 
So we still need to finish some assessments on her before that happens. Yeah. And she really don't like all the loud noise in here, do you? Huh, sweeties? But she loves to climb and cuddle on your lap. Huh, Maggie? Yeah. You a good girl? Are you a good girl? Yeah. What do you hear? Yeah.